Hey everybody, Stanivation back with another break. Got a box at 2122 Upper Deck Extended Series Hobby. The second year they did the Extended Series. And this is the first year they did 50 Young Guns in it. And maybe wasn't such a great thing. But there are a better, better crop of Young Guns in this Extended Series than in 2021. Um, and I'm specifically after... Well, again, uh, you got Jarvis in there. You also got Paterka. But everybody loves the... Harvey Pennard there in uh, Montreal right now. Popular young rookie. I guess all rookies are popular when they're in the Montreal Canadiens uniforms. But uh, as the saying went earlier in the year, who needs Bedard when you got Harvey Pennard? Uh, which, I don't know who said that, but I heard it a couple times. And I don't know. I guess the love's maybe worn off a little bit for the guy now. But uh, another one of the names that you'll see in here. Who else is in here? Schmied for the... Devils had a little bit of an appearance there last year. Popularity came up. But J.J. Paterka and, and uh, yeah. So, anyway, let's go. This is also extended, so you got all the chances at, who knows, all the little surprises they put in here of the past sets that Upper Deck has made. They made part of extended. A hobby box. I always like ripping hobby. The retails and hobbies of these got blown out, I guess, maybe about it eight months after the release i just picked this box up at a show that I was at recently for what was it 70 bucks but then i had to play, pay the tax it's funny because the first time i was at a card show where i actually had to you know, the guy rang it in and i had to pay tax on it but i guess it was a store that was there so all's well 70 bucks canadian plus tax release price was about 120 canadian okay so here we go six young guns 24 packs not 12 like the new format this is the old school upper deck 20 years plus they were like this okay who we got first coming up is there he is spoke of them there schmied devils have a good organization swiss goalie here had some had some popularity there i think i saw his card selling for even 30 to 40 bucks canadian last year again i think it's all hype at that point what the real value is who knows cards and values it's a funny thing okay here's our first gold hit holographics gold as opposed to regular and it's the man from newfoundland dawson mercer also had some popularity there right up till about this year and then he hadn't his, his game's a little off at least it was i don't know if he's maybe picked it up a little bit i haven't been following the devils as closely actually i've been off a couple of days a little under the weather so sorry for the raspy voice and i'm a little rusty and my, my breaking fingers are just getting back into the swing of things thought i'd take a break away from some of the newer products i don't know all the prices and the quality problems and i was reading all kinds of funny business going on with the series two uh release dates and, and prices and i don't know what's happening with upper deck series two but it sounds like the middle market's getting greedy and trying to rip us customers consumers off but who knows upper deck what the real price is when it gets released anyway there's uh black diamond jake gensel Black Diamond update, or uh, not an update, just a tribute, I guess, from the 0607 design. Marchand, yeah, yeah. Should look at these a little closer in case you haven't seen Extended. Again, it's not the most recent release, so. It is hobby, so you never know, you might get an exclusives. There's a regular version of Holographics, Holtz. He's got. Thanks for watching. If you haven't, tap the like button, join the channel, subscribe, check me out for other videos. Again, when you're in the shopping mode, I sell on eBay with the same name, so some of this stuff you'll see up there eventually. While we're keeping things together, there's my Rookie Gems Black Diamond of Cool Cylinder. Good one to get. Canvas and just that I haven't hit one yet. Let me read the box myself. Was there a canvas update in? Well, the... the I just uh, answered my own question. Of course, there's a canvas. Every year, there's canvas. Except for before 2010. I guess 2010 and 11, they started uh, with the tribute, 20th anniversary. The tribute kind of parallel that became the canvas set after in 2011 and 12, which was really the first year of a beauty canvas set. Young guns and everything. Which isn't a parallel set. It's... A similar set though. And there's the second canvas. Tech Vanacek. VC with the Rangers now. And again, second Young Guns is a goalie. Keeping the goalies together. 
Sashenko. I have no idea wherever what happened to this guy. Maybe he's got a YouTube channel like that guy I've been watching. What Travis Ridgen? You ever see his channel? A goalie that plays in the Fed. It's fun to follow. A guy who actually is an athlete, professional athlete, earns money by playing sports. What a cool concept. Andersley 0607 Retro Tribute. Austin Matthews, and it's shaped like a, hmm, a rocket. Yeah, or like a rocket ship. Hmm. Not sure I like this uh, design card resembles. Very phallic. Okay, but it's Austin Matthews, and it's die cut. Number two, what did I see the number was? A thousand? 756. Three off my favorite number of 753. We got another numbered card. This one's Lundell. And this one's super rare. It's at a 2,999 copies, but it's the killer copy. 187. We got a homicide. Call it in. Anton Lundell with the SPX Finite. Adam Beckman. This guy's tried to make the roster, although he's not on the wild right now. And... Maybe never again, but hopefully, because I got a couple of nice hits of him out of 21-22. Smiling Mitch. Flow. Yeah, I hit a Beckman. Uh, what did I get? I got to know. I got an exquisite of him. Oh, I got his future watch somewhere. Good for me. Druan. Jonathan Druan. Tribute card from 0607. Okay, well, I got a couple of numbered cards, but not really any real hobby hit. The gold, I guess, is supposed to make you excited when you get a gold like that, that but not really. I'm looking for the one. Box hit, maybe. There's Fabian Zetterland. The Sharks now doing well. I thought I saw him on the highlights last night from San Jose, that something was actually going well for a change for the Sharks this year. Fabian Zetterland. Him and Hurdle. Matthias Janmark, Reamer, Reimer, Nathan Bastion when he was with the Kraken, Logan O'Connor, Duncan Keith. Forgot he was an Oiler for a bit there. What's with the Oilers? Hmm. Starting to play better now. I saw McDavid had like nine points in two games after a bit of a problem there. Speak of the devil. The devil. He's not the best actor in TV commercials. Let's just say that. Uh, very en français. Brandon Montour. It's hard to pick them out, but they don't make the French variants, variants anymore. But there's Oshwigan, Ontario's Brandon Montour. Let's see if the Panthers do as well in the playoffs this year. I haven't checked their current standing. Let's destroy that pack. Schwartz. Tribute of Marshand. Look at these guys behind. You think they really care what's happening in the game right now? I don't know. They don't look too happy. Yeah, none of them do. Oh, a bunch of unimpressed guys who paid for front row tickets. I have never sat at the glass in a hockey game. Not at like an NHL game. I went to a Fort Alberni Bulldogs game. Sat up front there. Go Bulldogs. Okay. Steves, Alex Steves, one of the best Maple Leaf prospects of all time. Not. Whatever happened to this guy? He's a career in the AHL, I think. Alex Steves. Young Guns. Okay, winding it down here. We got a Pod Coles and Young Guns tribute. That's a good one for me. Again, I'm in the Vancouver area like on, i'm on an island named after vancouver which is kind of weird i think about it i read up on that guy vancouver he really didn't do much i don't know why he gets all this stuff named after him a lot more people did a lot more for this area than he did but the way it worked back then okay what's this thing there's an nhl records timu Solani. i forgot about these things they're not super rare but they are not a common insert 21 to 22 extended series NHL records collection. 
Timu Salani. I met him once when he was with the Jets in his rookie season. I remember doing a card show in Toronto at the Wilson 400 and 401 Hotel. He was there that one night and stayed late and signed autographs for everybody. Real cool, real cool guy. It's like on a weeknight, too. They had a game that night. Housley was at that show, too. Phil Housley. He was a Winnipeg Jet. I'm old. Remember that week, uh, that month, Solani was on the cover of, of uh, the Beckett. It was a 92, around in the 92 area. And he sat there and signed all these Beckett's because everybody had Beckett's for sale, obviously. I got 10 Beckett's signed by the guy just for free. Like, here you go, sign them all. And then the guy, like a couple of tables up from me, was actually was from Finland. And he sat there and spoke with him in Finnish for like 15 minutes. And when he signed his Beckett, I don't know what it said on it, but it was like a book written across. It was like, hey, wait, Scott Bernovich. Another one of the good young guns to get out of this extended series yeah but he'd written like right across the whole magazine like i don't know what it said but it's the weirdest signed copy of a beckett i've ever seen and it was all in finnish anyway salani's a cool dude he's a righteous dude got three packs to go here and probably seen the highlights of this box but who knows there's am linus Hey, cool. I forgot. These are in here too. Sparky. The mascot for the Islanders. I had no idea it was Sparky. But the canvas card. See, yeah, I completely drew a blank on the canvas and I forgot. That's how they finished it with the mascots. Like the retired legends are in series two. and Right on. What a Sparky card. We're not talking Sparky Anderson. There's another update or a tribute card from SPX Mason McTavish it's a good one rookie tribute card of the 99-2000 SPX design right on it's a very shiny card and the last pack thanks again for watching everybody I'll come back very near future with another break if it's not tomorrow I'm not sure I'm as I say coming the new year I'm not going to post daily videos anymore stick around i'm just not going to keep up with that daily pace the grind it gets to you it's really tough to as they say list and sell and make videos and organize and it yeah i'm way behind foreman and what do we got in this last pack a pavelski kind of a anticlimactic finish for joey p sorry not to diss on the american superstar hockey player but i got four tributes with a young guns tribute so five altogether two black diamond updates or tributes i guess not updates one's a rookie gem a gold and a regular holographics the numbered hits were matthews of this ud3 design of i i don't even remember pulling a ud3 card that ever looked like that but the spx does remind me of again 98 99 maybe uh anyway those are tribute cards not numbered just a regular tribute of SPX with this records card in a French variant of Montour. I like this records card up to put up a value up there somewhere. Probably like a $10 card maybe. I don't know. Guessing. And then this priceless mascots card of Sparky. Keith, Vachan, Vitek, Vanacek, and Troy Terry. Young Guns. Again, a good disbursement. Peranovich. Per, 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 Pernovich, I can never say his name right, per, per, Perunovich, Fabian Zetterlin, and uh, Schmied with maybe some hope in Beckman still. Thanks again for watching. Keep on collecting, everybody.